Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. I cannot believe I'm saying this given my last vlog. I couldn't stop talking about the heat. And I guess I must have offended New York City because the temp has dropped and it is somehow really cold out. <laughs> like cold enough to where I need a little puffer going out and about. I'm not complaining, I'm just making some observations. You'd think after living in New York City for a year, I would be used to the up and down weather, but it still gets me every time. Just goes to show you I'm a true California girl at heart. Anyway, today's been one of those days where I have said, I wanna start the vlog now. I wanna start the vlog now. I should start the vlog now since eight o'clock this morning and it's now mm, 10 past one and here we are. <laughs> oh, I guess I just like, I think the perfectionistic side of me is like, I wanna get everything ready to begin, but nothing's perfect. And so here we go, we're starting now. I had a ton of admin type work stuff that I had to do, and then I quickly made lunch, really yummy veggie sandwich. I've been really on that vibe lately. And now we are going to head to a workout in the city, Barry's boot camp, and then I'm going to Next Health which they do like cryo and all sorts of stuff there. They've invited me in, which is super nice to do, I think cryo, an LED session of some sort and perhaps a vitamin shot. Alarms going off. And then I have dinner plans later with my bestie Brooke, who is out of town for my birthday. We're going to do a little belated birthday dinner together, but I will fill you in on that later. In the meantime, subscribe if you're new and let's hang out for the next couple of days. I really don't know what this vlog is going to be, but I wanted to hang out with you, so let's get the day so easy. Hi, today has quite literally been insane. <laughs> I just remembered I need to put lip gloss on. I podcasted all day long and only got three podcasts out of it, but that's okay. I'm doing it for the love of it. And I'm now dressed and ready. I have a little Zara dress on and I'm going on a date. Don't know how much of this date I'm actually gonna vlog but I at least wanted to say hi and check in because I did not do a great job of vlogging. Although if I'm gonna be honest with you, it would have been incredibly boring. I was quite literally sitting, talking into a microphone all day and then sitting at my computer and editing all day. <laughs> Here's the fit tonight. Again, just this easy dress from Zara and I'm wearing my high top Converse sneakers because it's just easier to walk like that. I'm gonna wear my little leather jacket and we're good to go. See you guys a little later, okay? You be good girls, you wait. 
But you want a choo-choo? Keep penny first. Bye-bye. See you a little later. don't know how much I'm actually gonna vlog today but I am going to go to brunch with my friend Julia this morning and I thought it would be fun to vlog the morning and I have a meeting with a brand after who's in town and I will have to well I don't actually think I'm gonna debrief you on the date because I learned my lesson with that last year saying too much too soon but let's just say it went well we will leave it at that Gosh, yesterday ended up being a crazy day. Again, not what I expected for it to be. But after brunch, I went to a brand meeting and then I came home and worked on the Yoga Inspired Life program because I'm launching a new cycle that begins on June 5th. And there's just a lot of back-end admin type work that goes into that. And so I dropped the vlogging ball, sorry. <laughs> but it would've been boring for you to see anyway. So I thought I would just carry this vlog into today and I woke up this morning feeling like a matcha. Speaking of matcha, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, then you know I love Peak Sun Goddess Matcha. And I also love their BT Fountain, which is a beauty electrolyte. And together these two form the Radiant Skin Duo. I've been using this for going on six months now and I'm still not over it. And I don't think that I ever will be, to be honest with you. I experience skin issues from time to time. I have extremely sensitive skin and I do have acne prone skin. And I feel like the things that mainly affect my skin and whether it's happy or not so happy and breaking out are my gut health as well as my cortisol levels and stress levels and if I'm drinking enough water. So hydration, keeping my cortisol under control and my gut health are the main things that I focus on to keep my skin clear. And I absolutely love the Radiant Skin Duo from Peak to help me support my skin. I notice that when I am incorporating matcha as well as BT Fountain into my daily routine. Consistently, my skin is more clear, it's brighter, and I feel like it's less dull overall. I'm actually gonna make a matcha right now while I'm chatting to you about this. And I also feel like my skin is just more supple. And like when I say supple, I mean it's helped increase my skin's elasticity, which is something that greatly reduces the older that you get. I absolutely love Peak's Sun Goddess Matcha because it is organic. It is also quadruple toxin screen, which means you are getting the highest quality ingredients. And it is ceremonial grade matcha, which again is the highest quality grade of matcha. And it's not just matcha either. There's chlorophyll in here as well, which helps the gut and helps detoxify the body. And I just love it so much. I also love that it's in these little packets because whenever I travel or I'm on the go, I can take it with me. Same with the BT Fountain. I always bring these little packets with me everywhere I go, even when I'm traveling. If you saw my Coachella vlog or my Palm Springs vlog or my LA and Orange County vlog, I brought my BT Fountain with me because it is my favorite electrolyte drink. It is not just an electrolyte packet. It also has ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which helps support the skin. While my water is heating up for my matcha, I think I am gonna make myself a little BT fountain drink. I usually will have this later in the day, but kind of feeling like it now, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna go with that. 
I also sometimes like to add pineapple juice to this, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna do the BT fountain. And you know what? It's totally okay because it's still amazing on its own. I love that it's not too sweet. It's just this perfectly well-balanced yuzu berry flavor. It's also worth noting that there's no added sugar, preservatives, or artificial ingredients in this. And all of Peak's products are just convenient. Like they just require zero preparation and dissolve quickly in both hot and cold water. And everything's already pre-measured and you just don't even have to think about it. It's just so easy. I also love my little frother from Peak. I got this a while back. I like to add a little ice to mine, but it's totally up to you. Yum! For my matcha, I'm gonna do a matcha latte. You wanna start with warm water. You don't want it too hot. So I just put a little bit in my little beaker that I got from Peak as well, which I love because I used to just blend the matcha in my mug, but because I use a short mug, everything would get everywhere. <laughs> so I always use my beaker because it just keeps everything clean. The other thing about Peak Sun Goddess Matcha that I really like is that Peak's trees are shaded for longer for more clarifying chlorophyll. Because again, as I mentioned, there is also chlorophyll in the Sun Goddess Matcha from Peak. And if you are an OG subscriber of my channel, you would know that I used to drink chlorophyll drops daily, which it's not that I don't like doing that anymore, but I just feel like doing this takes out an extra step because I'm gonna have a little warm morning drink anyway. And on the days that I'm having matcha, this just takes out a step because there's already chlorophyll in here, which I love. So I blend it until the matcha starts to foam. And then I'm gonna steam some oat milk. This is my favorite oat milk. And the steamer just came with my coffee maker, which is linked below. Everything is linked below, by the way. Warm that up a little bit. Just makes the perfect matcha every single time. I love Peak so much and they've become a part of my daily routine and I do notice a difference when I do not drink my BT Fountain and Sun Goddess Matcha. For a limited time, Peak is offering two free gifts when you get the Radiant Skin Duo. Here is what you get. This really nice frother, which I am obsessed with, as well as this aesthetic glass beaker, which I do use every day. <laughs> and you can get these gifts for a limited time when you shop Peaks Radiant Skin Duo using my link, which I have popped down in the description box. You probably would have noticed at the start of this vlog, I had a little breakout on my chin and I have been religiously drinking my BT Fountain for the last four, now today's the fifth day. Skin is cleared up. Love that for me. Get on the Radiant Skin Duo. I'm telling you, I feel like you're gonna love it. I love it so much. And big thank you to Peak for sponsoring this portion of the video. Perfect timing because yesterday I ended up being so crazy busy. I did not get to go grocery shopping like I normally like to do. So last night when I was in bed, I ordered all my groceries for delivery today. So I'm going to unpack all of these. Also, you might be like, Shayla, are you not taking the dogs out? I already took them out. I got up at 4.30 this morning. It's 7.30. <laughs> I got up at 4.30 this morning and put the pants on over my jammies and took them out because I was up early this morning. <laughs> and I got a little bit more admin work done for the program, believe it or not. You know, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I wake up and work, which is not my favorite habit of mine, but sometimes it happens. Pineapple juice for my BT fountain cocktail that I like to make. Didn't even think about that. It honestly is so good by itself. It doesn't need anything. But sometimes I like to add a little pineapple juice in for some anti inflammatory benefits, and it's just like so pretty. It feels like you're drinking a fun little mocktail of sorts. Here's my little Whole Foods haul. I got some stuff to make veggie stir fry, mushrooms, broccoli, carrot sticks, zucchini, yellow squash, sprouted tofu, and some eggplant. I also got some spaghetti squash, celery to make celery juice, which we'll do in a minute. Some salad stuff, so baby spring mix, mini cucumbers, tomatoes, garbanzo beans, radish, and some yellow bell pepper. Speaking of skin from earlier, I also got some more garlic kraut because I 
have a probably like roughly a tablespoon of this every single morning. This also helps keep my skin clear because it is fermented and fermented foods are good for gut health. I also got some fruit. I got, I don't know why I only got one honey crisp apple, but I got an apple, some cantaloupe, bananas, some more of my favorite dates, dried mango. This should have been shared when I was sharing about the stir fry, but I also got some more chopped garlic because I just love to have this on hand to make salad dressings or to put in my stir fry. And then I also got these jalapeno lentil chips, which are so freaking good, you guys. My friend Eugen introduced me to these when we were at Coachella and I've purchased them like three times. They're so yummy. They're vegan and gluten-free and they're just delicious. Oh, you know what else I got too? I also got a few lemons because I have really been enjoying making warm lemon water. Oh, I did get one more thing. I forgot. <laughs> more berry LaCroix. I have not been stocked on this for a minute. And I do enjoy a little sparkling water here and there. Oh my goodness, it has been a very productive day. I am now just getting ready. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup that I already had on because my workout was a very light workout and I did not sweat very much. Well, and also I just kind of like ran out of time, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like I don't smell it. I, I, I didn't sweat. So I'm just touching up my makeup quickly because the Osea team is in New York City and they're hosting a really special intimate dinner with the founder and some, I believe, some influencers that they work with. That's a brand that I work with frequently and it's a brand that I love and have loved for many, many years. So I'm honored to be invited. It's a dinner to celebrate the launch of their vegan collagen body lotion, which I talked about in my last vlog and I'm a huge fan of. And I'm just like so excited that they've invited me to go to dinner with them. I'm like, really? Me? Okay. Rocking a slicked back bun. Don't ask me for a tutorial for how to do this because I really don't know. I quite literally just put it in a ponytail threw it back and put some bobby pins in there. So I don't really know how that happened, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet the founder and I'm also excited to meet a couple of the reps that I am in very frequent contact with on email when I work with them. So I'm excited to meet them IRL and of course excited to celebrate the launch of their body lotion because it has quickly become one of my favorites. I am just wearing this dress that I got from Revolve. I've had it for so long and I've been waiting for the right evening to wear it and I feel like tonight is it. It has like shoulder pads in it. I'll link it below and I have little knee high boots on which I'll show you in a second but I just feel very chic but still comfortable. Also I saw some comments. I know I'm still terrible at answering YouTube comments. One of these days I will set aside time to answer all of them. I'm really sorry. But I did see a comment asking about my makeup routine and I actually shared it during Vlogmas and it's the same exact routine. So look back through my Vlogmas videos. I can't remember what day it was, but it says it on the thumbnail, everyday makeup routine. 
and that is still my makeup routine. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we will head to this event together. Okay, here is the fit. Here is a little bit better look at the dress. It is by House of Harlow. Probably could have gone one size down, but I've had it for so long that I cannot exchange it. <laughs> but I just tied it a little bit tighter because it has this wraparound piece here. I love the print. How pretty is the print? And I just have my Stuart Weitzman 5050 boots on that I've had for over a decade. <laughs> Investment boots, still love them. So yeah, that is the fit for tonight. I think I'm just gonna throw this really light coat on from Zara. I really hope that I don't have any issues with this dress. I wonder if I should put tape on it. I should put tape on it. No, I'll be fine. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's all folks. I'm gonna wrap myself up so that I don't feel exposed on the subway. <laughs> I'm excited that I'm bringing you with me. I'm excited that I continued the vlog into today. I feel like this vlog started off a little chaotic, but today felt a little more regular or normal, if you will. <laughs> Let's go. been working on this seaweed uh, gin for a while and I, I think I finally perfected it. It's actually made with Duca's algae from um, the Cognac region of France. Um, and now we also have an incredible nori infused vermouth. That's what we have right in here and we're going to pour it into our lovely glass. Wow, we also so have it's topped with a little bit of orange bitters. I love it. Sorry if it's windy, but I'm walking home and I just wanted to close out this vlog. That was so freaking fun. I met so many nice, amazing new friends and it was so amazing to connect with the Osea team. And I just feel very grateful and lucky and grateful for all of you. I'm gonna head home. So I'm gonna say goodnight now, but thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Oh my God, a huge rat.